We present a system for neural cross-person reenactment. Our system transfers mimics from one person to a different person. Unlike many predecessor systems, ours does not rely on predefined face keypoints, and instead learns vectorial pose descriptors from data. Our architecture is trained on a dataset of videos. In each training episodes we sample k plus 1 frames of a video. We use k frames to estimate a vectorial identity embedding by extracting vectors from each frame and then averaging them. We use the last frame to estimate the pose embedding. Note that our pose encoder is a convolutional network of a standard architecture. In our experiments, we use mobile net v2 architecture. We train our generator to reproduce the foreground of the last frame and its segmentation mask. The generator is conditioned on both the identity embedding and the pose embedding though adaptive instance normalization blocks similarly to style gun architecture. We have found that our system learns pose descriptors that are almost person agnostic, and passes all person-specific information through the identity encoder. This is achieved solely by limiting the capacity of the pose encoder block and making it much smaller than the capacity of the identity encoder. Here we compare our reenactment system to a highly related Zakharov et al. system FSTH that is based on keypoints. We see that our pose descriptors transfer much less person-specific information and produces less shaky animation. Smoothing landmarks would remove shakiness from the baseline results, but would affect the fidelity of the mimics. We also compare with the modified version of Zakharov et al. system FSTH+, which is closer to our system. In particular, we add segmentation to the their setup and input keypoints into the generator via adaptive instance normalizations. In this case, the baseline has comparable identity preservation, but much less accurate mimics reproduction, especially in terms of lip sync. Note that our approach preserves mimics and moves lips much better. Here, we show more comparisons with baselines and previous approaches described in the main paper. Finally, we show interpolations in the pose space. Each animation is produced by our system by performing interpolation between two different poses for a fixed identity. Thank you for your attention.